What is happening, vape fam? Joe of all vapes coming at you once again in the lovely vape cave. It is what it is right now. I'm actually going to be revamping the vape cave here pretty soon. This whole background is going to change. I got a custom logo banner that I'm working on. This whole wall is going to be painted. It's going to be looking awesome. You're going to feel like you're at home, away from home with yours truly. You know what I mean? So it is my favorite time of every month. Zample box time, baby. Zample box 101 happening right now. They've been doing some big time switch ups with a lot of their subscription services, basically in the form of 30 milliliter bottles. Starting this month, October of 2017, fatty 30 milliliter bottles in every Zample box. You know what I'm saying? And this one, uh, they have upgraded for yours truly. Instead, I was doing the gold bottle box, the six bottle edition. Now they have basically moved up to the new nomenclature, the 11 bottle box, uh, which is formerly the platinum. But look at this, 11 bottles of amazing badassery at 30 milliliters per, okay? So gonna be some changes. Obviously you've got a lot more e-juice to handle, a lot more that you can spread around and share with your friends or your SO or whatever have you, you know what I'm saying? I don't judge. But um, it, it's, it's a definitely a good thing. And basically, let me tell you why they're doing this. So the industry is pretty much switching a lot up with how they bottle their juice. They're looking at a cost to benefit ratio. Honestly, when's the last time you've been to a vape shop and you've seen 15 milli bottles anywhere, you know what I mean? Other than previous sample box boxes. That's basically what I'm talking about. They looked at the the um, majority of people buying bottles. They were all 30 milliliters. So they're like, man, we're actually losing a little bit of money here on this. We need to start banking on the 30 milli. So that's basically what they've started doing. Now there will be a little bit of a switch up on the cost of the three tiers that they had going on. Obviously the price is gonna go up a little bit but it really does stay within the same price point average. So you're still saving money even though you're getting more for what you bargained for originally, you know what I'm saying? So I'll break it down for you a little bit later. It will start to make sense, guys, trust me. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Since I do literally have almost double the juice that I've been reviewing lately on the Zample Box 101s, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through all the flavors, but I'm not gonna review them all. Instead, I'm gonna pick out like about three to five of my favorite flavors. We're gonna break those down and that'll give you kind of an indication as to what I dig the most out of my box. Kind of gives you an indication as to what you can expect if you are not a Zample Box subscriber, which is really, really something that y'all need to consider, okay? I'm gonna bust open my new Joe's October tasting menu. So just to give you a little bit of an indication as to retail value on this kind of stuff, that's on the bottom right there. It's uh, 186.91. So basically, 11 bottles, 30 milliliters. You can't go anywhere and spend anything less than 186 bucks retail, majority wise. You're getting the 11 bottle box for 54 bucks, 53.99. Okay, so basically, what that breaks it down to is for one 30 milliliter bottle. $4.91 average, okay? So that's a pretty darn sweet deal. Let's go through the first tier of flavors here and uh, bust those aside, boom. So we got Cali Steam, and that is Steam Whip. Then we got Dr. Fogg's Famous Ice Cream Supernova. Pebbles Donut E-Juice, okay, so that is from Donuts E-Juice, pretty, pretty popular name brand. Milkshake Man, Marshmallow Man, all pretty name brand stuff here. I mean, we've all seen this stuff on social media. And then, I've got, of course, we got the Blueberry Donuts E-Juice, a warm, fluffy blueberry donut dunked in a glass of milk. Awesome, awesome stuff right there. Okay, so that was the first tier. We're going to set that one aside. And now we're going to look at the last tier, if I can actually pull it out of the box. Okay, so this is the last tier, the bottom tier. We have at, from Atlas Vapor. Titan's Treat, we've got Sammy Shake from Milkshake E-Liquids, and then the last three are ZB by Zample Box. Those are their signature flavors. So you got Cake Ice Cream, Strawberry Lemonade, and Apple Pop. Um, so out of these 11 flavors, basically I'm gonna pull out my favorites. Okay, so five flavors that are pretty much my fave out of the box. And then I will just kind of point and direct maybe towards the one flavor that I really just could not stand. 
thought was awful. Okay, so we'll start with Milkshake Man, a strawberry milkshake with a delicious whipped cream top. And that is from Marina Vape, actually. So they break it down from kind of more novelty flavors like this. And they've actually got a ton of other stuff that's a little bit more sophisticated as far as just labeling is concerned for one thing. But so the Milkshake Man, um, it says it's a milkshake, strawberries, and whipped cream. So it sounds pretty simple. This stuff was actually really, really super light on the palate. I like flavors that are a little bit heavier to the uh, just the consistency. It was pretty good. Um, I mean, for me, the thing is, is that I am so darn overwhelmed with strawberry flavors of pretty much anything. My tongue almost shuts off on the stuff, you know what I mean? I mean, it, it's just the market is flooded with strawberry vape, strawberry cream, strawberry something or other, you know? So it's just, to me, it's, it's just another line, another type, another consistency of kind of the same old thing that's been around for so darn long, but it wasn't bad. It was a creamy, it was light, not quite as creamy as I wanted, not quite as sweet as I wanted, but I mean, in terms of consistency, it was pretty darn good. So Milkshake Man, not a bad shot, not a bad try for what they were trying to accomplish. Next one up is Apple Pop by ZB Vape. So their description, this caramel apple lollipop roll, mind you, while you suffered through the hours and hours it took to get one of those suckers out of the wrapper as a kid. So one thing I like about this is that it's pretty traditional in terms of just that tart, sweet apple consistency with a little bit of sweet kind of natural glazed buttery kind of caramel not too massively deep on the caramel but the apple came through pretty darn solid so perfect time of year halloween you know just kind of blending into thanksgiving nice little happiness going on so pebbles donut is the next one and that is from donuts e-juice this one is pretty darn self-explanatory i mean you know it, it's uh, just fruity pebbles on top of a nice glazed donut so you've got your traditional uh, Fruity Pebbles flavor going on there with a little bit of a milky consistency, but the donut came through really solid. So kind of that buttery, deep fried, doughy kind of flavor going on there. That's about it. I mean, it's a pretty sweet flavor. I've tried so many blends of, um, you know, Pebbles donut flavor now. I mean, you know, you get one flavor, everybody tries to copy it. So really you have to sort of dig it apart in terms of like, okay, what's this company doing different that everybody else didn't, you know what I mean? So the flavor actually wasn't bad. It was one of my favorites and I've been hitting it consistently. So obviously they're doing something right. So the next one is the blueberry brand from Donuts E-Juice. And this one, a warm fluffy blueberry donut dunked in a glass of milk. So pretty consistent with that. Everything was there. The blueberry was kind of candy-esque, but it was still pretty sweet. I like the sweet factor. Donut, once again, was pretty buttery and rich, just that fried consistency. Everything was there. The, um, you know, the cloud production was solid. Allow me to uh, demonstrate. Pretty solid on the cloud production. So good flavor overall. And the last one that, um, you know, it, it's, it's one of my faves, but it's kind of floating there. I don't know if it's definitely an ADV for me or not, but maybe it's just because I vaped it so much, Marshmallow Man. Um, this one was uh, pretty just typical and standard. I think this one's another Marina Vape flavor. Um, yep, it is Marina Vape, so that's out of LA. Pretty traditional, sweet, fluffy, and creamy, exactly like the box says. Straight up marshmallow. So, um, okay, so that leaves one, two, three, four flavors that I did not review. Um, and that would be the cake ice cream, the strawberry lemonade, and the Titan's Treat from Atlas Vapors. Honestly, those three were, were just okay. I mean, I have my qualms with them back and forth. You know, maybe at different times they might have tasted better, but they were what they were. Honestly, and this is the biggest disappointment I have, was the Sammy Shake. Now, this one should have been up my alley and then some. So pretty much your Shamrock Shake. I mean, we all wait for St. Patrick's Day at McDonald's to get our Shamrock Shake, you know what I mean? But this one should have tasted a heck of a lot better than it did. Mint with a vanilla ice cream. I mean, it sounds amazing, right? I mean, even if you open up the bottle, it actually doesn't smell really all that bad. To me, it tasted like toothpaste, and I don't want to vape Colgate, you know what I mean? I brush my teeth every morning. That's about enough of an experience for me. I was really, really super disappointed with this flavor. So maybe it's a me thing. I think there's obviously a ton of people out there that love this flavor, obviously, because they still sell it. 
but I don't recommend it for myself. I will remain subjective. If all you guys out there wanna try some Sammy Shake, I'll definitely put a link in the comment section below and you guys can try it 10% off on me, okay? So that leads me to that sweet little treat that I was hinting towards. So um, all y'all have uh, pretty much a consistent idea as to what Zamplebox does. They're the OG vape family, like they say, original vape family. They were the first company to pioneer e-juice subscription service. So, you want to get some, you want to try some, I know you do. Check this out. Go on to Zamplebox.com, start up your personal profile, put in all your likes, your dislikes, all that stuff. And then once you find the subscription that you want, use my code, Joe Vapes, right down here, Joe Vapes. It'll save you 10% off on every subscription as well as everything on the Zamplebox website, in their store, everything. And the coupon code never expires. So that one's all for you guys. That one's just all on you, 10% off on everything, including subscriptions. So it's an easy way to kind of slide in to trying Zamplebox. Um, you know, if you have a significant other that likes to vape with you, you get the 11 bottle box, and now that they have the 30 milliliter bottles, I can guarantee you I'm not going to be running out of juice anytime soon, especially with my next box coming in mere weeks for November. You know what I'm saying? So, Zample Box for all the good things to come, baby. And absolutely, that is what you can expect every single month. So, go into ZampleBox.com, start your personal profile, use my discount code JOEVAPES, save you 10% on everything, and look at the comment section below. Like I said, there's going to be some links for all the flavors that I dug and the one that I didn't dig, dig, so that you can try it yourself and still save a little bit of money while doing it. So I want to remind everybody that I have a video coming out with Ian and Chris from Zamplebox fame. I'm actually sitting down with them at the Zamplebox headquarters up in Washington. We did a bad e-juice tasting together. It was so much fun, man. I spent the day up there with the whole group, the whole Zamplebox clan, met everybody up there, just really chill, awesome, cool, down-to-earth folks. Um, just love vaping, love the industry, and, and love spending time with you guys like I do, okay? We had a blast up there. So definitely go into the Zample Box YouTube channel, click on subscribe, so you can see the next edition of Zample Talk with yours truly, and Ian, and Chris, tasting some bad e-juice. That should be coming up in uh, about a week, if not this coming week coming up so that's going to be some fun and definitely click subscribe onto my channel because I've got a big fat sample box giveaway coming up here pretty soon and uh, like I said a ton of new reviews brand new mods brand new juice some brand new stuff out of China that nobody has ever seen coming from them to yours truly back to you we're going to be having some fun you know what I'm saying okay so thank you very much once again this is Joe Val Vapes your eye in that vaping sky Wishing you to stay humble. Love yourselves, love each other, guys, and you keep it eternally cloudy. Hey, everybody, this is Joe of All Vapes. Thank you for watching. For the best in vape reviews, pound that subscribe button, and don't forget, vaping saves lives.